Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you 25 Microsoft Word shortcuts. These shortcuts are very important and everyone should know. So stay tuned and watch till the end. Very first shortcut is copy. If I want to copy any text or any paragraph, so I will select the word or paragraph and then press Ctrl C. So it will copy data for me. Next shortcut is paste. If I want to paste any copied data, what I will do, I will press Ctrl V. So it will paste the copied data for me. Next shortcut is cut. If I want to cut any data, I will select the word or paragraph and then press Ctrl X. And if I want to paste it, I will simply press Ctrl V. So it will cut the data for me from the this location to this location. So next shortcut key is font. If I want to change the font size or font color or font style, I will select it and then press Ctrl D. A window will pop up. I can change the font style to italic. I can change its size to the 16. Press OK. Now you can see its font size and the style have been changed. Next shortcut is bold. If I want to bold my words or paragraph so I will select it and then press Control B so it will bold bold the paragraph for me next shortcut is italic if I want to italic my data if I want to italic these words so I will select these word and then press Control I so it will italic data for me next shortcut is underline if i want to underline my words my paragraph i will select these words and then press ctrl u you can see these words are underlined now next shortcut e is save if i want to save the data for example if i make any changes in this document and i want to save it then shortcut key is ctrl s so it will save all the changes for me Next shortcut key is save as. If I want to create another document addition to this document, so I will press F12. If I press F12, a window will pop up. Now it's asking me the location where you want to create another file. So I will place the location anywhere in this PC or desktop and then press save. So it will create another Word document for me. Close it. And next shortcut is paste special. For example, I copy this, this word chart, control C, and if I want to keep its formatting, like the formatting style, the italic style, the green color in it, if I want to keep the formatting, so I will use the paste special option. Shortcut E is Alt E S, a window will come up. Now you need to select the option formatted text. So it will keep the formatting of the source. If I press OK, now you can see it has copied the same data. It has pasted the same data as we copied. You can see the same color, same style, same font, same size. Move on to the next shortcut. Next shortcut is page break. For example, there are three paragraphs here. If I want this last paragraph to be displayed in next page, so Typical option is just keep pressing enter and move it to the next page. I don't want to waste time by doing this. So the shortcut key is of page break is place the cursor at the start of the paragraph and then press control enter. Now you can see this paragraph has been moved to the next page. How quickly it moved the paragraph to the next page. Let's go back. Let's move on to the next shortcut key. Next shortcut key is move to first page. If I'm working within the documents which has so many pages and if I want to go to the very first page, so shortcut key is control home. So it will take me to the very first page in this document. Let's move on to the next shortcut key. Next shortcut key is move to the last page. If I want to move to the last page, if I'm working at the center of the pages, so if I want to move to the end of the pages, last page, then I will press Ctrl N. So it will take me to the very last page in this document. You can see at the left, page 7 of the 7, it has taken me to the very last page in this document. 
next shortcut key is find if i want to find anything in document i will press ctrl f on left side you can see navigation window i'll press my word any word if i want to for example excel so it's showing me the excel word is used here so i can easily find my word let's move on to the next one next shortcut key is about align right if i want to change the alignment of any word or paragraph i will select the word and if i want to align towards right i will press ctrl r it will move to the right hand side next shortcut key is align left if i want to align left to any word or paragraph i will select the word and then press ctrl l so it will move the words or paragraph towards the left hand side next key is align center if i want to align the center i will select my paragraph or word and then press ctrl e so it will centrally align for me next shortcut key is hyperlink if i want to create a hyperlink so I, what i will do i will select it where i want to create a hyperlink then press ctrl k so now it's asking me which file you want to attach as a hyperlink if i want to attach this file i press ok now you can see its font and the color size has been changed if i control click on this it will take me to that file next shortcut key is new document if i want to create a new document addition to this document entirely new blank document i will press control n now you can see a new document new word document has been created let's go back to my original document next is close document if i want to close this word document so what i will do i will press ctrl w so it's asking me do you want to save your data if i click save so it will close this document for me i'm just closing it for the time being next thing is select entire data if i want to select the entire data within this document so i will press ctrl a now you can see it has selected all the text within this document either it is on first page or is it on seventh page it has selected all the word next shortcut key is select specific word if i want to select any specific word so instead of like click the mouse and then select the word what i will do i will just double click on it if i double click on the word so it will select it for me if i want to select right or left so what i will do i will for example if i want to select rather than keep holding shift and keep pressing the right arrow so it will keep selecting the data from right side vice versa if i want to select towards the left keep holding the shift key and then keep pressing the left arrow it will select it will keep selecting the word for me if you want to quickly select the words and press ctrl shift and left arrow it will select the whole word again whole word again whole word same as towards the right ctrl shift right arrow right arrow press press it will keep selecting for you next thing is track changes if you want to track your changes within this document the shortcut key is ctrl shift and e so it will track all my changes changes for example if i change this word from has to have now you can see the original word was s so it strike through and i shall change it to s if i click on this left side you can see uh, a bar on the left side if i click on this so it will hide the original word but you can still track it by click on this so it will show me so you can stop the this track changes by going to the accept all changes and stop tracking so next shortcut key and the last shortcut key is border all if you want to border all your data then select the data and then press alt h b a so your all data has been bordered down so, so these were the 25 shortcut key at the end i want to give you some of the bonus tips the two shortcut key one shortcut key is undo it's control z for example if i delete this word document 
and then press control Z so it will bring back the alphabet by alphabet if you keep pressing control Z control Z control Z so it will bring back all the word and if I press control Y so it will again removing the word so it it's also the control Z is one step back and the control Y is one step ahead so these were the 25 shortcut keys plus two additional shortcut keys which I discussed with you if you want to watch the shortcut keys in Microsoft Excel then I have given the link in the below description hit the like button if you like this video and make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more tips and tricks so I'll see you guys in the next video